So to get to the entropy, we have to play around a little bit with various ways of plotting the reaction rates. But you're just going to need to trust me that if you plot T multiplied by L and K, not versus 1 over T, but versus T, we actually get two reasonable straight lines too. So we calculate that derivative. We should calculate what is the derivative of T multiplied by L and K with respect to T. Much easier because we don't have 1 over T there. Well, what does that say? That's going to be T, the derivative of T multiplied by ln k0 plus ln and x cancel each other and then a minus sign. So minus T multiplied by delta f divided by rt, right? dt. As before, that derivative is going to be roughly zero. That t cancels that t. So this is going to be minus the derivative of delta f dt. I hope you didn't forget that the last 30 seconds. That's going to be minus s. So that's going to be delta s. Oh, sorry, I forget an r, that r. So you see here, here we can get the entropy in exactly the same way. And if you just trust me that those curves will look that way, we can say that s in the unfolded state is highest, reasonable, chain can be stretched out. Then the entropy drops as we go to the transition state, and then it drops even more when we go to the folded state. So let's see what that looks like in these two curves that we've looked at before.